Number one and classic question that all recruiters love to use is, what is the syntax of VLOOKUP function, what are its limitations, and what are the alternatives? Most important part of this question is limitation of VLOOKUP. Only thing they want to hear is do you know how to use index match combination, but we will come to that later. Let's start. For VLOOKUP syntax you should indicate that first argument for this function is lookup value, that is the value you are looking for. Next argument is table array, that is the array of data where we are looking for our value. Here, you need to mark all columns, from the one where is your lookup value, to the one where is your data, that you want Excel to return as result. In this case we want result from this column, so we will mark just this three columns. Third argument is column index number, that is the number of column from which you want your result to be returned, of course counting from the first column you marked in previous argument. And that is number three. Final argument is range lookup, here you will choose if you want exact or approximate match. In majority of cases you will need exact match, so choose false, or just type in zero, which is the same as false. Enter, copy down and we have our result. Now comes the tricky part. What are the limitation and alternatives? They want to hear that major limitation is that VLOOKUP can't look up to the left side, and that we can solve this problem with combination of two functions, match and index. First, let us switch these two columns, so that column with wanted result is on the left side. You will start with index function, and first argument is array where your result should be, that is this column here, then, second argument is in which row is our result. Here, instead of the row number, from which we want result, we will use match function to give us this number. With match, we will tell Excel to look for our lookup value, this one, in this column here, where is our lookup value, and final argument is that we want exact match, so zero and close both brackets. Enter and copy down. Now, look what is happening here. Excel will display the result from this column, from row number that we found out with match function. Looks complicated, but everything you need to memorize is this syntax. Here you need to mark the column from where you want result. Here you need to mark your lookup value, and here you will mark the same column where is your lookup value. And don't forget about this zero, or your formula won't work. And in the end, if you really want to impress them you can mention that you can also use x lookup function to overcome this problem. If you want to master this function you can check it out in this video. Good luck on your interview.